Stay tuned and let's check out this Marvel Legends, The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Winter Soldier. Pow and welcome back to the channel, Dan Who Reviews. As always, my name is Dan W. Make sure you are following me on Instagram at it's Dan Who. And remember, you can now hit that join button and become a channel member as well. Quite simply, show some love or join the members club. Much, much appreciated. Today, we are taking a look at the Marvel Legends Disney Plus wave as we're into the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And in front of me, we do have the Winter Soldier, Bucky Barnes himself. Uh, this time he's got a haircut, of course. So it's the first time we've got a haircut version of Bucky Barnes in figure form. But I will take it. It looks a little bit different to what we've got so far. So we know where it fits on the timeline amongst our shelf. Uh, he comes with interchangeable hands and then just the build a figure piece for the Captain America wings. But still, we can't have the Falcon and Winter Soldier figures without the Winter Soldier himself, aka the White Wolf. So there he is in the front of the box. On the side of the box, we get a promo image, the same promo image on the back there where we get some Sebastian Stan's nice haircut, as well as his vibranium arm, that which apparently can be pulled off. Um, but yes, we get a little right of the reeds. Thrust back into the real world, Bucky is forced to figure out how to become James Barnes again, all while facing demons from his past. Yeah, I very much like the character art we get of Bucky Barnes within the show. Uh, hopefully we see more of him as well in the future uh, as the sidekick of the new Captain America, of course. Uh, and that reminds me, we get a list of all the figures in this wave. You need to complete the Captain America Builder figure wings. Today we're reviewing Winter Soldier. So yeah, of course we needed a new Winter Soldier for our shelf to fit in with our Phase 4 figures. And yeah, without further ado, let's get them open. So here we have Bucky out of the box and he comes with a set of interchangeable hands and of course a build a figure piece for that wing gear, that flight gear for Captain America, Sam Wilson. So of course that will be my next review. So check out the playlist, subscribe, all that good stuff as I will be building Captain America's wings next. Today is about the White Wolf, aka the Winter Soldier. And uh, yeah, this is basically... Bucky Barnes after he's visited the hairdressers or the barbers and got himself a fresh trim. Uh, we do get interchangeable hands, which is a first for Bucky Barnes as well. So I like that we can have a fisted hand on this vibranium arm. And it is definitely the vibranium arm. As you can see, it's gold and black. But uh, let's zoom in and take a closer look and see how close they have to that Sebastian Stan head school. Now, I can't tell if it's really good or a little bit off. Um, something about it just doesn't quite sit right with me. Now, from certain angles, yes, I can see Sebastian Stan, Bucky Barnes, but then other angles, it's someone completely different. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Something's just not sitting right, but I do like that we get the five o'clock sort of shadow. He's sort of uh, grimacing a little bit of the eyebrows uh, down, a little bit angry. His hair sticks out a little bit, but as I said, he's got his nice trim all the way around. So maybe I'm just not used to seeing Bucky Barnes in figure form uh, with a short haircut. Um, but I think it sort of looks like Sebastian Stan. No doubt the digital face print and sculpt's nice. I just don't know if they've nailed the likeness. Maybe when I can see his eyes, they ca I can. I don't know. You let me know in the comments below uh, how do you think the likeness is for this uh, Winter Soldier figure. I think from certain angles, yes. Other angles, no. Haven't quite made my mind up. But Figure itself. Uh, I like the vibranium arm, as I said. Uh, so this has got the gold and the blacks. And all these sort of details are sculpted in there as well, uh, which is very nice. Definitely on the shoulder. Maybe not on this part of the arm, but this, it sort of feels rigid. So, uh, yeah, that works out well. And as I said, he's got a fisted hand as well for the vibranium arm. And that sort of goes right in the that jacket. Jacket sort of black leather. That's a bit textured. And then the it's blue, but they've got different shades of blue. It's like light blue, dark blue to black underneath the arms you can see it's black underneath there and uh, there's some creases bit of texture to it um, and yeah the pattern follows all the way down to the hand on this side open palm sort of c grip on this hand moving down to the belt which is attached to the top it seems yeah it doesn't seem like that's part of the bottom this is a part of the top so you can see the swivel is actually underneath the belt rather than on top of it usually the belt's a separate piece but that seems actually a part of the top down to the trousers, sort of even like tactical a little bit, some sort of creases down there, and then all the way to the boots. Now the boots are a little bit more shiny and blue compared to the jacket, uh, to the trousers, so you can see the difference. But the cut for the thigh is really lower than usual. Like there's a cut there for the thigh and a cut there for the boots, and the knees are like its own little sort of middle section, if that makes sense. So there you go. There's a swivel there above the knee and then below the knee for the boot, which is which is odd, I think. Yeah, it definitely seems like he's wearing shorts, and then there's a cut which is an interesting choice. Uh, the collar sort of is unbuckled here, um, and you can see that sort of just flares off a little bit, but it works, it works nicely. The strap 
that's details that's painted the strap goes all the way around under the arm and uh, yeah overall it's looking nice it definitely looks like the outfit he wore at the end of falcon and winter soldier definitely close to it if not spot on i like the colors vibranium on the arm is very nice and stands out so as i said he comes with a set of change changeable hands so he's got one sort of c grip sort of looks like a trigger finger but it's more of a c grip one fisted hand but he does have a set that you can swap out so now we can have a fisted hand on the non-vibranium arm and then more of a grabby sort of hand for the vibranium arm in case he wanted to strangle someone at madripoor uh, so it's nice to have options for bucky barnes but of course i like the option of having two fisted hands And now we can do exactly that. It's always good for a simpler, sort of more neutral pose. So if I zoom out a little bit, now we can see, there you go, Bucky Barnes with his haircut and his vibranium arm looking good. Articulation in the arm will go to 90. There is a swivel at the top of the arm, as always, double joint elbows on both arms, uh, and they both work pretty well. The cut is there, definitely an ab crunch. Crunches forward crunches back as i said the swivel it's underneath the belt so it will swivel around there legs go out that far forward that much back uh, not so much at all and as i said the cut is sort of like above the knee and then below the knee at the boot very odd definitely seems like it's in a different place there's a decent pivot for the foot ankle pivot and hinge and all that good stuff both of the hands as well have a hinge uh, back and forth rather than up and down so no guns yeah that's back and forth side to side and then the head is on a dumbbell i believe so yeah a decent bit of range on the head as always so yeah pretty good not bad and again pinless which i always appreciate the pinless tech no pins sticking in the vibranium there or on that arm or on the legs so yeah, uh, pinless. I always forget to mention that because uh, we're being spoiled now with Marvel Legends with this digital face printing tech and pinless figures. The future is here, people. The future is here. But yeah, pinless arms and pinless legs. Looking good. And here we have our ultimate Bucky Barnes, the Winter Soldier, MCU Marvel Legend comparison. So here on the left, we have the Civil War Bucky Barnes, when he is definitely still sort of emerging out of the Winter Soldier sort of persona. And then here we have uh, Bucky Barnes after he's visited Wakanda and he's had all of that stuff wiped out of his brain. This is Infinity War Bucky Barnes. So you can see now we've got the silver and the gold in the arm uh, compared to the sort of silver and black over here. Still got the red star up on that one. So yeah, there we have our vibranium arm comparison, if you will. Definitely silver and black, silver and gold, and then black and gold there in the middle for the new Falcon and Winter Soldier show. Uh, but you can see how the outfit from Infinity War sort of gets a little tweak for Falcon and Winter Soldier. They're close to each other, but it is tweaked a little bit, um, sort of like a biker jacket. You can see how all three figures have an evolution. Let me just spin them around a little bit. So there we go. So that's uh, Civil War, Infinity War, Falcon and Winter Soldier. And I do really like the likeness on the Infinity War uh, Sebastian Stan. Obviously, this Civil War one doesn't have the digital face print in tech that is just sculpted on there, but it still works, looks pretty nice, not gonna lie. Uh, definitely an improvement here with the Civil War. And then again, the f digital 3D print in tech is upgraded yet again, but I just think it's the short hair that's putting me off. I can't tell. On today's episode of Unnecessary Head Swap, we've put that Civil War head on this Falcon and Winter Soldier body. And as you can see, does not work at all, and it won't work either when you put the new haircut Bucky Barnes on the old Civil War body. Sort of fits on the peg a little bit better, but the skin tones don't match and it, yeah, it just doesn't work. Here we have Bucky Barnes compared to Baron Zemo and the Captain America uniform of John F. Walker. And I think they scale pretty nicely together. I think Baron Zemo should be shorter than Bucky Barnes, but is John F. Walker taller than Bucky Barnes? I can't remember if Wyatt Russell is taller than Bastion Stan off the top of my head. So you let me know in the comments, how did this scale up together? The figures look great together, I can tell you that. And if I can swap out that John F. Walker and bring in the US agent version i have put on the unmasked head on there just to make the figure worthy because have i mentioned that this uniform is inaccurate to the u.s agent appearance in falcon and winter soldier and then finally the two main men themselves here we have falcon and the winter soldier aka sam wilson and bucky barnes aka captain america and the white wolf did you know that final title card nearly read Captain America and the White Wolf, but they took away White Wolf because they wanted the emphasis on the change being from Falcon to Captain America. Still an interesting theory, and definitely not the last time we see these two characters in the MCU. So, final thoughts, I really did enjoy seeing a lot more of Bucky Barnes and Sam Wilson 
in this TV show. And again, I look forward to seeing them wherever they appear next in the MCU. Maybe a season two. There was definitely enough cliffhangers to sort of grant a season two of Captain America and the Winter Soldier or the Wild Wolf, as I said. But we shall see. Bucky Barnes, though, did get a nice haircut. So it was worthy of a brand new figure for our phase four MCU shelf. So you let me know what you think in the comments below, as always. Do you like this figure? Do you like his new haircut? Always curious to hear your opinions in the comments below. But as always, check out the videos tab, find the playlists, but most importantly, please, please, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much. You can now hit that join button and become a channel member as well. Quite simply show some love or join the members club. Follow me on Instagram at it's Dan Who or on Twitter at Dan Who Reviews. And I will, of course, see you on the next one.